Thank you, Jeff. Hello and good morning. It's a pleasure to be with you here today. The consistent use of data in government is revolutionizing the way we govern and make decisions. Now, more than ever before, we have insights at our fingertips. Data enables us to be more responsive and connected to our residents. With anecdotal evidence taking a back seat, we can use data to improve resource coordination, increase our tailored approaches to current policy problems, and also forecast future outcomes with more precision, making us not only responsive, but also proactive in addressing problems that emerge in our city. What I find most valuable and exciting is that through data, we're democratizing innovation in government. Data, which is really the key to understanding what will work and what won't work, is now available to more people outside of the halls of the city. With advanced data sharing and open data platforms, we can bring in technologists, researchers, and entrepreneurs to help solve some of the most persistent problems we face. The catalyst for all of this is, of course, technology. And the GeoHub brings groups that would otherwise work in silos together on one platform to maximize solution building. I feel that academics and politicians and policy people tend to work in different um, spheres. And what we're seeing now is that academics can bring in their data collection and analysis and apply it directly to problems and issues we face in the city. This is an opportunity that was not available before the GeoHub. And on the other hand, our policymakers and constituents can now work with these researchers and address problems in an innovative and cutting edge way. We join forces and collaborate on this platform more seamlessly with the ability to share and serve up spatial information and analytics through our groups. This drives systemic change in our cities. Let me tell you a little bit more about Los Angeles. Our approach in Los Angeles is fairly unique and tailored to the city's sheer size and decentralized nature. What I mean by that is that Los Angeles a city of four million people, is decentralized both physically in its sprawling layout with micro centers across the city, and structurally. We have over 41 departments overseeing their own GIS staff, own data collection, as well as their operational missions. So bringing all of this together is quite a challenge, and that's where technology comes in. Our vision for a smarter Los Angeles uses technology to optimize our decentralized nature and leverage all of this analytics expertise across the city in one central place. This way, we develop a comprehensive approach to the city's data strategy. By integrating our separate systems, we can now work cross-functionally to deliver on our city's priorities and make Los Angeles more livable, sustainable, well-run, and prosperous. We are well on our way with over five platforms and a dozen signature apps. We are on our way to becoming the best smart city in the world and have received some recognition as a leading digital city and the number one city for open data. Let me take you on the journey of the GeoHub from idea to impact. Here's our hub approach. The GeoHub is the perfect example of a practical, tailored digital transformation. It enhances current operations and makes new collaborations possible. We convened a committee of stakeholders, including our enterprise power users, 
to create a solution that worked for them, that allowed the tech to disappear into their daily operations. Here what we have is our enterprise users. With the GeoHub, they're able to serve up spatial layers and analysis into one central web portal. This makes our 41, over 41 departments more connected and they can approach their work with more precision and insight. On the other hand, we've created a place to share spatial data in one central location with the public through traditional open data as well as curated policy initiatives. We're able to share tailored information with our business partners, citizens, startups, academia, data journalists across the city, developers, as well as NGOs. We offer more than just open data, but additional features that aren't available on other open data platforms to really show you the different ways that you can tap into the value of data to improve decision making and increase advocacy across the city. And best of all, we've developed a community of GIS. With the GeoHub, we can seamlessly partner with our GIS specialists in the county and use their data on our GeoHub as well. Also, we've coordinated with the state of California as well as the federal level. This brings all of our GIS users into one integrated platform for the first time to really drive impact with location-based information. So why is location-based information so important? Well, as I mentioned, Los Angeles is decentralized, and our Angelinos, the residents of Los Angeles, feel that as well. So for them, what they really care about are insights happening outside their doorstep. They want to know what's going on on their street. They want to know what's going on on their block, maybe their neighborhood, and maybe a bit further up in the council district. But what we've seen in the city is that to make our mass size more interpretable, for example, making 6,000 miles of sewer data means very little to a resident. They want to know how that information applies to their specific street segment. So knowing that insight, we are moving toward place-based policymaking, where we're tackling problems by neighborhood and by street to track progress and open deeper insights into microtrends that help us improve service delivery across the city. In developing the GeoHub, we wanted to focus on three main goals, all part of our three-pronged vision. So naturally, in creating a new technology that we're integrating into our services, we wanted to advance communica communication across departments. So that means connecting departments that are current enterprise users to one another. It also means showing the power of mapping to departments that wouldn't typically use ArcGIS, but could get to know WebGIS and some of the more intuitive web mapping technologies available on our portal. We're working with them to develop clear use cases and show them where mapping could support their missions and activities. To spur innovation in Los Angeles, we're using the hub as a place to bring together people who are looking to innovate through mapping. We've created on our homepage an online gallery for you to browse and get inspired on how to be a better mapper in Los Angeles. We've also developed new examples to highlight the value of location for data-driven government. And lastly, we're increasing communication community engagement. We're making data more digestible for the average Angelino and creating a space where our Angelinos can harness the power of location-based information for their own causes in advocacy and business and research. And so with that, the way we've been advancing communication across departments is by focusing on open data. Open data is a great way for our departments to share data together for the first time. And if we do have sensitive data, we use our permission-based groups as a place for them to share data internally in a way that's much more seamless than uploading a zip file and sending it via an email. This is safer and faster and more efficient for our departments.
It's also a place for them to tap into the community that's interested in using their data. And we've been working for the past year to build a citywide data collaborative. It's a place where over 80 members, data analysts and data managers in the city come together once a quarter to talk about best practices in all things data, from data management and automation to spatial analytics and the future thinking around mapping. It's been a great place to really harness all of that energy and push forward as a city with our data strategy. So let me tell you about one example here in Los Angeles. We're using Streetwise, which is similar to SmarterWorks, and it allows us to easily coordinate construction efforts that obstruct the public right of way. This way, we're bringing together departments that deliver construction um, projects across the city for the first time to really encourage that coordination, improve road conditions, and also address a small problem in Los Angeles, traffic. It's a great place for us to bring that all together in one place in an easy to use application. This app is updated in real time to reflect current and future work. You can easily type in an address of your choosing and see within a specific radius what projects are occurring. Here I've typed in the, city, the city's um, city hall and you can see all of the projects that are upcoming. You can look into the future and see projects that are coming up down the line. So we have 117 projects near City Hall that are on the books right now between this time period, which is also adjustable. If you're interested in clicking on one specific project to learn more about it, you can easily find all of the attributes associated with that project. Here you you can see that um, the Bureau of Street Services has approved a permit for a Los Angeles AIDS walk that's happening on October 20, 21st of this year. So naturally, that would be a bad date to do any other street work. You can also look far into the future. So you can look two years down the line and see the types of projects that we're doing to keep Los Angeles more livable and modernize our infrastructure. Here's a capital improvements project, and you can learn more about that project by clicking on the report and seeing exactly what that project includes. So we're able to harness a lot of data, both timetable information as well as these, as these static reports in one really easy to use application. And what we're seeing when we're building these kinds of applications is that it goes beyond resource coordination. Our fire department, for example, is using Streetwise to better plan emergency routes. So sometimes we're discovering applications we couldn't even think of prior to um, actually deploying such an app. To spur innovation in the city, we've really been working on making our GeoHub accessible and an exciting place to bring in different groups. We use our online gallery as a place to browse by topic area if you are not really sure what you're looking for. And you can also check out our applications and see the ways we've already contextualized data, the way we've already tapped into that value and what we're currently doing as a responsive in modern city. So now increasing community engagement. Well, obviously open data does that, but we know that we're not really speaking to all audiences when we're just releasing data. We wanna make sure we're building applications that are dynamic and that story maps that really tell a qualitative story along with those quantitative insights. And as I mentioned, what really matters to our residents are these micro trends, things that are occurring directly on their block. So with that, I'd like to show you Clean Streets Index. This is a wonderful story map that really captures both how we're working and operating as a responsive city and how we're really trying to engage with our residents. So Clean Streets Index is our way to operationalize sanitation service delivery in Los Angeles and use data to make sanitation service delivery more efficient and equitable across our city. Since April 2016, we've been collecting data every quarter 
on all of our streets, that's over 35,000 kilometers, and our alleyways, we assign a cleanliness score to each street segment based on the number of bulky items, weeds, illegal dumping, and loose litter on that segment. And then we map it all out every quarter and update the story map. So you can easily go to your neighborhood, you can click on your specific street segment and see the score and compare it to other street segments nearby. It's a great way for us to show how we're responding to a particular need and making Los Angeles more livable through data and mapping insights. As you scroll down the story map, you can also see the way we're applying this and deploying this in our city. So each part of the city is it's in its own operational grid. And these are our clean stat operational grids. We use them to better deploy resources across Los Angeles. Since launching the program, we've reduced the number of these red grids by 80%. We've also alleviated a lot of our illegal dumping problems. So we had a very big uh, backlog of illegal dumping. And we've reduced that backlog by 41,000 service requests. All of that ha is possible thanks to CleanStat. And we also show our residents how we're moving beyond data to value and action. Residents can scroll through the story map to learn how they can engage and improve their street cleanliness score on their block by using our service request app, or even just harnessing the data for their own purposes by just downloading the raw data right there. So this story map has been so successful in Los Angeles, just the simple symbology and the way that we engage with residents. We've had over 50,000 views of this story map. So that's just a little bit about what we're doing in Los Angeles with the GeoHub. We've spent the past year and a half building our signature apps and building that spatial community in the city, a place to collaborate and encourage more advanced and innovative spatial thinking. I'm excited to say that we have over 20,000 users on the GeoHub and about 250 daily users. This has really grown our institutional knowledge on the GeoHub. So people are using groups actively as a place to store their analytics and their spatial layers. And it's really a great place to bring all of that together, making the GeoHub not only a hub for innovation, but a hub for knowledge as well. We're also focusing on reaching those non-technical audiences, like I said. So we're building more initiative pages and focusing on the issues that matter to our residents. We'll be rolling out more pages related to our sustainability goals and our water and, um, water and analytics goals as well. So as the traditional role of GIS evolves to more directly inform policy, we're really seeing that the hub is a place where our data analysts and managers feel empowered to use new mapping technologies to advance their own city operations and also work cross-functionally to think collectively about these persistent problems in Los Angeles. And lastly, we're engaging with residents more. We're working to roll out some public citizen accounts so that we can increase co-creation and crowdsource great ideas across Los Angeles. So now, before I leave, just wanted to tell you a little bit about my journey here. So this is actually my first international speaking trip. And just three days before I left for Australia, I got married. So technically, you're all part of my honeymoon right now. So I've been doing, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so every city we've visited, I've been taking this fun selfie with everyone. So please indulge me. And because of my short limbs, we're going to do a video because that seems to be working better. So I'm going to um, so prepare you all. And then on three, you're all going to say Osri and wave. OK. <laughs> all right. So. One, two, three, Osri. Wonderful. Thank you so much.